My book, The Shimmering Sea, Robin Williams' Murder, is available now as an audiobook. And I have links underneath this video where you can order it. I did a really good job on this. I'm, I definitely have skills as a voice actor, and uh, it's a comedy drama, and it is a true story. And you can order it at iTunes. If you want to get it off of iTunes, you need to go, you need to log the iTunes app onto your computer or smartphone or whatever. And when you get onto iTunes, do a search under the iTunes store and then look either for Gabriel Chana, do a search under Gabriel Chana, or the title of the book. Make sure you include the whole title of the book, The Shimmering Sea, colon, Robin Williams Murder. And um, at Audible, you can also get it there. I'll have links. I'm not able to create a link to iTunes, but I have links to the Audible page and to the Amazon page underneath this video. And also, I made a a video previously where I read you some samples and I'll have links to that underneath this video as well and um, so you can get it now it's available and um, I think I did a really good job and I brought Robin Williams sort of back from the grave in a way and um, uh, I encourage you all to order the book to get a glimpse into what Robin Williams was thinking and feeling in the days before he died and what really happened to him and how the Jesuits murdered him and why they murdered him he was coming he was coming to marry me and um, the Jesuits will murder any of my men that try to come marry me I've also started working on I've uh, been sort of at, at a stalemate on the on my current writing project which I originally entitled Shimmering Skies Robin Williams from Heaven and I was gonna make Z Zack Knight the main character but for some reason I just have writer's block about that right now and um, I believe that's because um, because Jesus wants to be the main character. See, the problem is, even though I have, I've, like my first chapter is a bunch of Bible prophecy about the Antichrist. And then I have following chapters where I go into what happened to Robin Williams at his death, because he's the narrator, so I wanted to bring in a little background on him. And then I have another chapter going into the history of the Oshu Fujiwara family, which are the an my Japanese ancestors from which I got my Catherine the Great genes. And I thought, these, are, these need to be connected. In any well-written novel, you've got to have, um, you know, these subplots need connectors. So I thought, I, so I just kind of just let the writing sit and just didn't look at it for a while because sometimes I find that's the best thing to do when the writing isn't quite coming together the way I want and then inspiration struck me I said I know my Japanese ancestors have to be in the story and that happened like 1000 AD they lived a heroic life and they lost their kingdom because they were so devoted to their Buddhist beliefs that they were willing to die rather than take place take part in war and Jesus told me that they all went to heaven and he also wanted to say that he has no problem with Buddhists so I thought you know what okay so what I'm gonna do with my um, book my next book is I've retitled it and I've created a, created a new cover and um, I will show that like on the second half of this video and um, I, uh, actually, I think I'm just going to go ahead and just let you see my face. So, the, um, I started thinking, I was thinking, Lord, I've got to connect this somehow. And I saw a movie with Robin Williams, um, called, um, it was a story where, uh, where he goes 
where he dies in a car accident and then he tries to win his wife who ends up going to hell. It's a fantasy novel. And I thought, I'm going to structure my book very similar to that. Except in place of Robin Williams, I'm going to use Jesus Christ trying to win back his lost wife. When you think about what happened at the Garden of Eden, and can you imagine how God must have felt when Adam and Eve took the forbidden fruit and Satan deceived them? And he knew everything that was going to happen. So the way I'm structuring this book is I've decided I'm going to make Jesus Christ, my next book, Jesus Christ will be the main character. And I am the woman after God's own heart because I have the King David genes. And let me tell you, as a result of my experience in being seduced by the Antichrist in 2012 and um, what I learned from that, so this next book, The Seductions, where Zack Knight seduces me, probably going to take up about half of the book. And um, I will be going back into history. I'm going to kind of like show Jesus Christ point of view through everything. Kind of like in that Robin Williams movie and in the book, which is even better than the movie where Robin Williams tries to win his wife and she doesn't believe in eternity. She doesn't, she believed, Robin Williams' wife believed that when you died, your body, that was it, you were, it was over. So she was devastated when the Robin Williams character died and she committed suicide. And then, which, anyways. So, it's going to be kind of like a new agey. It's not going to be, Jesus, I actually asked Jesus, I said, Jesus, are some new agers going to go to heaven? He said, he said, hell yeah. <laughs> that was the answer he gave me. And he said, and, I, and he says, you can quote me on this scale, but I don't have any problem with Buddhism either. I said, so Jesus, so um, basically Jesus Christ, as a, he said, Gail, it's basically really simple. I just want people to love each other and get along. And he said, the only reason I wrote the Bible is because human beings like things complicated. So I wrote the Bible and it's kind of a complicated book. But I said, Gail, what it basically boils down to is I want everybody to love each other and to get along. And so anyways, I also have a Facebook page underneath this video, which shows you my new beginning to my book. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie... I got to have a plot, you know, I got the body, the, the books got me. I have one chapter that's all Bible prophecy. Then I've got another chapter, which is about my Oshu Fujiwara ancestors in the year 1000 AD. Then I got another chapter with Robin Williams dying in 2014, August. I said, you can't have a book like this. This isn't going to work. So I got to tie all this together. So what I did is I'm taking Jesus Christ back through history. And I'm the whole book, the focus is going to be on him as a lover. What he thinks and what he feels. And like each event that happens, I'm, obviously I can't cover everything. The focus is going to be on Jesus as a lover. So I'm probably going to open the book where he introduces. It's going to have a plot very similar. <clears throat> very similar to the plot in the Robin Williams movie where Robin played the character who died in a car accident and who had to win his wife because she uh, didn't believe in him and she ended up committing suicide and going to hell and Jesus Christ is going to be that character he's going to be trying to win his wife and trying to speak to her heart and she's not listening and he's saying I'm here I'm here please I love you there's life after death. It doesn't end with death. So this book's going to be a very deep exploration about death and dying and what really happens to the soul in death and and how Robin and I mean how and and then how Jesus feels when we die, when we go through major events in our lives, when we reject him, when we don't believe in him, when we when we choose pride over love when we worship lust and vulgarities over beauty in the 
and vastness in our spirits. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the reader like through a tour de force of the soul of Jesus Christ. And um, he's knocking at all of our hearts. And he says, let me in. And we say, we don't believe in you, Jesus. You don't exist. Or I don't think there's anything after death. And then I'm going to be going see, into how Jesus feels when we reject him. And anyways, the book is going to be very, very deep. I believe that, um, anyways, you'll see the opening. Let's go to my Facebook page. At my Facebook page, I regularly post samples of all of my books, audio and everything. So that's a really good place to go if you want to keep up on the latest on me. I Usually my Facebook page gets everything first. Like if a book comes out, I go to Facebook first and, and let everybody know. So face, I, I go to Facebook to post everything first, then I make the YouTube video the next day. So The Shimmering Sea, Robin Williams' Murder is out, and I've really captured the soul of Robin Williams. I'm a, as a writer, I'm very good at capturing the souls of my characters. The next book's going to be in first-person point of view, Jesus Christ's point of view, as a lover. I'll be using Bible, but I'm going to go deep, really deep. It's, um, it's going to be a fascinating exploration into the soul of Jesus and how he thinks and feels as he interacts with the human race while he's trying to gather his bride, the church. And how that everything he does is because he is 24-7 obsessed with loving his bride. And I'm going to show how he's trying to get his bride in the and and the role that I play, the role that I play as the King David woman in helping Jesus gather his bride in as he prepares for his wedding. And there will also be very deep exploration into why Jesus has chosen to give me his semen through Brent Spiner in the millennium. So this next book is going to be an exploration on Jesus' attitude towards sexuality, towards love and marriage, towards love in general, towards um, uh, and why he created man and very going deep into Song of Solomon and it's going to be a book going into the heart of Jesus Christ as a lover and as a bridegroom who's trying to get his bride and is using me to show the world his heart. This may turn out to be four books. I might end up going really, really deep. It's going to be like, it's going to be like that movie that that Robin Williams was in, and um, that's the next book. But in the meanwhile, every one of my audiobooks, I go. I'm a very good voice actor. I go into the soul of all my characters and I make them come alive. So check out The Shimmering Sea, Robin Williams' Murder, and I'm currently working on the sequel to that. Uh, I've retitled the book. I'm calling it Jesus, the Eternal Bridegroom, Robin Williams from Heaven, because Jesus will be the main character. Zack Knight will be the villain. So he's still a major character, but he's going to, obviously, the Antichrist has to be the villain to any book with Jesus Christ as the main character. Now that's Jesus' biggest problem right now.